What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel by Order of the Peaky Blinders, season one, episode number five. And this show's got short seasons. We're almost at the end of season one, which is, I mean, it's crazy to think that we're almost wrapped up with the first season. That is crazy. And I have loved everything about this show so far through these first handful of episodes. Mm -hmm. The you guys story. Never steer us wrong. Yeah, I mean, generally not, but yeah, very, <laughs> very high, high, probably like 98% rate. You guys have nailed stuff. But like this season has been super interesting. The tone is really awesome. The visuals and the cinematography is great. These characters are fascinating. And we got a wedding and a birth. And it all went relatively safe considering. Yeah. I mean, we've been traumatized by other shows in the past when it comes to weddings and receptions. Gosh, and, I can't think of a single one. Yeah, at least two or three shows. <laughs> so... That's fun, always, when there's a wedding and we just start panicking because it's just... <laughs> I'm like, shit's about to go down. It's supposed to be a fun and great moment, but it's like... But ah, wedding. that's when it like brings all the people together, yeah. so more shit can happen. Exactly. So the Shelbys and the Lees have united, which sounds like a really big problem for Billy Kimber and his whole situation. And the way Tommy handles business, I keep talking about it because I love the way he approaches things. Yeah. He's a difficult dude to read. Yeah. He is cool, calm, and collected in almost any situation. Do you imagine and... trying to date that man? <laughs> no. I mean... I mean... <laughs> but, like, for, like, Grace, let's say she there. wasn't a plant. Do you like me? Do yeah. you not like me? He's, I don't hey, know. He's straight to the point. He's very But he's just, not, though. I mean, he's pretty direct. But the way he handles these plans and strategize around it, it's like one minute, it's like, oh, cool, Billy Kimber and him, they're going to have a, like a short-term deal. And then the next episode, it's like, oh, we're marrying the Lees and the Shelbys together. So now we have a partnership and that war seems to be squashed. So now we're going to go take out Billy Kimber. It's like, damn. How episode you, to episode, it is wild. How do you keep track of all those people? Like, what if you accidentally shoot somebody in the Lee family and you're like, oh shit, I didn't even know this person. <laughs> yeah, right? I didn't even know them. That was one of the things I thought was kind of interesting where they just went straight up and attacked, but I think it's a small enough community like, yeah, that they know each other. I think they recognize each other. But yeah, I mean, that's a good point. Is everybody wearing jerseys with the right color on exactly. it? Exactly. I know who not yeah. to go after. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Don't attack him. Attack him. Sure. Exactly. And we got the whole IRA situation playing out because Grace killed the dude like a couple episodes back. That's also playing out. But a really interesting storyline played out in this last episode because Ada got pregnant, she gave birth, and Tommy gave the green light for Freddie to come and see his kid. And as soon as he arrived, yeah. he got taken into custody. Done. Which, someone set him up. I mean, it, it's a wild situation. Auntie is very, very mad. Aunt Polly is pissed. And she's not somebody that you necessarily want to piss off. Yeah, it no. seems like she's like a legit G here. Mm -hmm. and no, I'm good. Campbell continues to just be a thorn in your side he tried like his Freddy best thorn exactly in your side. he did his best to try to create some leverage on tommy and talked about oh, like i'm gonna wipe everyone out but your little brother we're gonna make sure that he is taken care of in the worst way possible and basically threatened him with this idea of like hey if i don't get these guns i'm gonna get laid off i'm gonna get fired and you're gonna have a shit storm on your hands because i'm gonna start one and he, again, continued to talk about him. Feels like a really bad dude to be on your tail, especially if you're doing some illegal shit. So yeah. Oh, yeah. this season, it's been wild. The story's awesome. These characters are fantastic. And we're here with the penultimate episode of season one already. Yes. Anything else before we jump into it? I don't think so. All right, let's go. I love the music. I love how they start every episode. It's the bell for me. Is that graveyard? They're just like, all right, ready to go. Ding, ding. I feel like every open has Tommy just walking somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> He's always good, walking somewhere. Good call. Except I think and last time I saw him driving. Oh, yeah, yeah. By the way, I want to be cremated. I don't want my body rotting in the ground. Thank okay. you so much. You can do whatever you want with me. I don't care. You're stuck with me forever. I mean, once I die. I'm going to be on an episode of the oddities thing where the woman eats the ashes. <laughs> Please don't eat my ashes. <laughs> Well, that's then you bit, would eventually. That's a bit much. You'd, you'd eventually end up at sea. <laughs> Fair. In the form of poop. <laughs> Thank you. I think we got that. Should I love our conversations, folks? <laughs> I brought more things for you and the baby. Got some fresh eggs and bread. How is she going to handle Freddie getting set up? Babies don't have principles. 
Okay, she took the old stuff. Poor baby. Oh, shit. They're torturing this dude. What happened between them? Did you speak to her? She didn't speak back. Well, did you tell her? I'll only tell her what I know to be true. Ooh. I love Aunt Polly. I mean, it's the last time I'm going to say this. It wasn't me who shot Freddie Thorne. I'd ask you to swear on the Bible, but you can't swear on that, can you? Nothing you'll hold sacred. Oh, shit. Ouch. Burn. A new system. Everything in the diary, eh? Mm-hmm. Black Star, what does that mean? It's the day we take out Billy Kimber and his men. No one knows this. Not even your family? Everyone in my family hates me. What would I tell them? I feel like that's a yeah. trap to set her up. I mean, it, yeah, could be. Look at this, look. Bloody right, it you? Rule number one of Fight Club. So we're talking about Fight Club? And rule number two of Fight Club? The ringmaster. You don't talk about Fight Club. <laughs> Stupid. Man wants to sit his stall up with fellas lamping each other. He needs himself a license. How about I keep my money? And you shove a license up your ass, crack. No, you don't want to speak to me like that. Now the bloody hell do you think you are? Good morning! Hey, no, I shout at me! Dad? <gasps> oh what? my god! Chips! Yay! Oh my god, I fucking love this! Hell yeah! Thank you. You're a good boy. Love him. I love this show even more now. <laughs> fucking love this. Finish your sandwich and sling your hook. Pollyanna, I'm a guest for the head of this family. So why don't you maybe tend to your mangle or your scuttle? The head of the family, I too. Oh, shit. This. Tommy, uh, he sometimes helps me with uh, with business. Hey, well, speak of the devil. With the accent and everything? Goddamn. Oh, son. Get out. Aww. Come on, son. I'm a changed man. His family needed you ten years ago. When you walked out on this. Not now. Get out of this house. Tommy, he's different. You shut up. Oh, shit. It's all right, son. After CLB. Never stays where he's not welcome. I like how Polly hasn't moved at all. Quite something you become. So Arthur's a junior? So if that's Aunt Polly, what happened to Mom? Yeah. Did we talk about that? I don't remember. He's a selfish bastard. You're calling someone a selfish bastard? Oh, shit. Uh-oh. I mean, thanks to you, we're already down a bloody sister. You want to see him, Arthur? You want to see him? You go with him. Setting boundaries. Family drama. Yep. Jerry. Jerry. Oh, wrong. Oh, R.I.P. Yeah, what are you going to do? You're not going to hit Tommy. I mean, you had to have known that. It was just going to cause chaos. But like, and they were going to blame guy. Tommy for Freddie getting pulled and then Ada shutting off everybody. Arthur, there are things in these books I don't understand. Every week we pay one pound ten shilling by postal order to a Daniel Owen in London. Danny Wisbang hangs around the pubs in Camden Sam Wharf for us. I thought Danny Wisbang was dead. Uh oh. Now that was a show. Tommy just shot some sheep's brains at him. He was buried in his grave. Girl, maybe <laughs> maybe don't ask this question. <laughs> You don't ask questions about things that don't concern you. Never. Right. That's for you. Don't tell Tommy I took this. Oh. How do you not tell Tommy that you took it? What is she gonna do with this information now? <laughs> she, oh, shit. The boy needs a good hiding, he asked me. Yeah, well, I'm pulling his clothes to giving him one. So he's helping out his father. The war can change a man. Speaking for myself anyways. Where did you fight, Dad? This poor baby Finn is in it, just... All over. In the mix. The salvation of Jesus Christ spread his light over me. And as a pilgrim, I come to visit the new world. America. Where I beheld the future. Casinos. Money factories, son. Just talking about God and gambling, you know. Same. There's a fortune to be made here. 
I'm an old man and my heart's a battered vessel. But within, there still beats the fluttering pulse of a dream. The Shelby Casino and Hotel. New York, Chicago, Boston, to the Shelby, where I can stand proudly with my dear children and a woman there like fresh peaches. Arthur's like, sold. Honestly. I don't want to cause any discord between the brothers. So please, why don't you talk to Tommy first? Now, now I'm sick of taking orders from oh, him. Uh -oh. He just played him so hard. I thank God for my wonderful son. Chibs, I'm disappointed in you. He shows up just to pitch this idea to the vulnerable son who's tired of listening to little brother. Exactly. Con artist. Well, Tommy was, I mean, as soon as he saw him, he's like, get out. Yeah. Leave. So there's a reason and for And you would that. think that Arthur would be like, oh, God, you know, he's probably a bad dude. Oh, you're gonna... <laughs> Come on, boy. I'm old enough to be your father. You are his father. And oh, old enough shit. to be your father? Why are you then gonna beat him up about it? I don't understand. Get up! Oh, oh shit. Get him! That's your kid? Is that all you got, boy? Oh, headbutt. Shit. Dude, I don't feel good anymore. Thank you so much. I think I'm concussed, Dad. Stop hitting me. Merman! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Wrong. My son! I love him and I'm proud and of I him! And just beat the shit out of him. I mean, maybe after I, like, get my, like, focus back, because you just headbutted me. Yeah. And, and knocked, hit me and a And knocked the wind out of me. Till you break him down to build him up. I mean... This is it sick. It feels like that's the relationship style. That is so sick. If I was Grace, I would be fucking telling on him. <laughs> My name's Byrne. I'd worked from your mom in Camden Town. You wanted to parlay. And parlay it is. A few months ago, a man named Ryan came to this place with a view to buying some goods from you. Mr. Ryan met with an accident. He was shot. I wondered if he made any enemies in here. None that I know of. Not the kind of place to make enemies. <laughs> All are welcome here, Mr. Byrne. Including Irish? No, oh, especially Irish. Ryan told you he was a member of the Irish Republican Army. Was he still welcome? Any man who buys beard is welcome. Perhaps you didn't believe him. Easy, dude. In pubs, sometimes people say things. Sometimes it's the whiskey talking. It's hard to tell which is which. As a teetotal man, I find it amusing. Except when it ends in tragedy. You see, Mr. Shelby, Ryan, for all his quick mouth, was indeed connected. Uh-oh. Very well connected to our brotherhood by membership and blood. His, the way he talks is very scary. I'm from South Armagh. I'm a man of influence there. Cordial and water would be grand, Mr. Shelby. Rice, bring some water and cordials to the snook. Yeah, Grace killing that dude and having people think that it was the Peaky Blinders is going to be a problem for them, it feels like. My cousin came to buy guns. And I told him I have none. Your man Danny Owen talks a lot when he's drunk. Uh-oh. He says the picky planners do have the guns. Rob from the factory down the road. Shh. Danny has to die now. Danny also says he sees German infantry men in the back of milk carts and he shoots them with his broomstick. We have men on the VSA factory. They say you, Asm. And we have men who work in the police station. Every finger. Uh-oh. Every finger in this city points in one direction. <laughs> Please don't mistake me for a fool. Look at this shot. What is water and cordial? I will be... I don't know, but he I don't know if I should Google later. I don't want anything... Chug like... that shit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to Google and accidentally, like, stumble upon... This is the drink that was in blah blah blah. I represent a very different category of organization. He's terrifying. Uh. My cousin was shot. I am judge, jury, and executioner. <laughs> I find you guilty and I pass in. Oh. You deliver the guns to me, or I deliver death and hell's fury to you. Okay. Let me confess something to you. Uh, what do we, what do we got here? Don't take it. I have the Oh, guns. okay. 
for they have become a burden to me. Perhaps it is time to unload that burden for the right price. This guy could play a serial killer really well, I feel like. 100%. I think, yeah. I mean, he got him to sit down and chill, so that seems like a good thing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that dude was scary. He's the way he spoke and very threatening, very direct. You hooked yourself a big fish there. With these guns as bait, who knows what we'll catch. Are you suggesting that you and I could work together to tea? I know, yeah. I got a medal. I will have your initials engraved on the backside. <laughs> okay. My initials on your backside. It's, uh, it's quite an image. He's got jokes. Can you answer me a question? Who gave you Freddy Thorne? Oh, so he really wasn't in on it. As everyone in the city knows, it was you, Mr. Shelby. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Dick. Yeah, he's not gonna give away his insider. Mm -hmm. There's no way. You're gonna give him all that money? Are you joking? Wow. To start a casino. It's all there. It is indeed. We're gonna build something with the sun. When do we sell that? Ship sails Friday. Meet me at the boxing ring. Right. What day are we on? This what feels this? bad. Are we on a Monday? You idiot. It feels like Arthur's like desperate for Yes, 100%. Something. The fact that his dad's... Daddy, pay attention to me. Yeah, and the fact that he's a junior. Yes, daddy, he's love like, me. Yeah. Daddy, be proud of me. Like, let's do this together. Hell yeah, dad, let's go. I'll give you whatever you need. Yeah, that's so sad. It's not like Tommy's keeping him like fully in the loop on things. Are you expecting trouble? At this hour? Midnight is as good an hour as any. See why are they, man? Gonna come through that door. When they have what they want, they plan to kill me. I want to meet here alone. And barmaids don't count? No, barmaids don't count. Shit. When I make a toast, you're gonna come out with that thing raised. You don't shoot, you just point. I'll do the rest. Holy shit. Just point. Right, go, go, go on, go. This feels insane. D is this a setup also? To like prove loyalty? If he seems le like you don't see him like this. We haven't seen him like this really at all so far in this show. So I don't know. He looks legitimately kind of panicky and hurried. What a shot. We'll hold back here. If damage is done to either side, it's now concern of ours. Oh, shit. He's a master strategist and great with his plans, so. Give me the cash. You're gonna need a shovel. This is intense. Yeah. You thick fucking tinker. Do you think we'd let you live? To barmaids, you don't count. I thought she wasn't supposed to, to kill. That? Oh shit. Oh sh Oh, he's fucking got his jacket over his face. He's choking him. Oh. Grace, can I get some assistance? Oh my God. And you know those fucking jackets are thick as shit. Oh my God, the flashback. Oh! Yeah, elbow to the nuts! Yes! Oh! Oh, with the spittoon, with the spittoon, and the spittoon fluid. Oh, he's break. oh, ah, that's his face! Oh. Holy shit! Holy mother. Uh, I think he had a moment there, obviously with that flashback and his actions. Why did you shoot? Why did you shoot, Grace? I didn't know that it didn't be like that. I didn't... Oh, 
You've seen me. And you've seen me. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. This is, this is so intense. I love this, though. I love it. I do love it. You were supposed to come in the sixth charm. You were supposed to come in the fucking sixth charm! They refused to surrender. They fought well, they were brave men. Well, he looks like he was killed by a wild fucking animal. Okay, listen here, motherfucker. Oh. This never happened. They were never here. Who cares? Get the bodies out of here. This feels really bad. Like, they've now killed two more. Yeah. They're just gonna have a storm coming. Watching Tommy like that, shh, dude, that moment of like those flashbacks and then him not stopping with the, what are they called? The spittoons? Mm -hmm. Like, Spit bucket. Definitely escalated to levels he didn't want, need, or expected. Thank you. I'm sorry. A literal dark place. I had no idea he would involve you in this ugly business. If I had, I never would have let it happen. He trusts me. Sergeant Moss made a report, which of course I burnt. But when he entered the room, you were embracing. Is that your primary concern? An embrace? No, oh, my, my, my concern is for your welfare. It was me who killed them. I had no control. You've been living with beasts. Oh, God. It was the beast that tried to stop me. Holy shit dude. she's been compromised dude she is defending the beast now i no longer feel the need to avenge my father the hatred that i brought here with me is gone and therefore my reasons for joining the service i want to resign i think our mission has come to a natural end i think i know where the guns are hidden if i'm right and the guns are found you have no more business with thomas shelby our military mission will be over and we can leave the city as we found it are you trying to do a deal with me because if you are you must be explicit <laughs> i want your word that tommy shelby will not be harmed if the guns are recovered your word as a gentleman oh god i don't think so you're too good-hearted for this work perhaps so for my sake will you spare him you have my word. She's killed two IRA members since she's joined this position. <laughs> I have found out that the man supposed to be buried is alive. I learned that the funeral was attended only by the brothers, and the grave that they dug was far deeper than your average. The guns are buried in that grave. And tonight we will dig up that grave. Shit. If you get in trouble for this, Grace, he's gonna fucking kill you. 100%. Poor Arthur. Dude. Gave up the money and bounced. Wow. Well, I got him. Does Campbell now hold up his end of the bargain, though? I don't and, know. Like, That's a great question. Leave. Girl, what are you doing there? Did you blinders alone? All but one gone accounted for. I feel like somebody's gonna see her and get her in trouble. I am no longer your superior officer and you are no longer my subordinate. And therefore, regulations permit me to offer you this. I thought he was gonna arrest her. I thought he was gonna arrest her. What the fuck is this? Bitch, you thought that kind of a relationship. I'm a simple man, but a good man. And my admiration for you has turned to love. The second she resigns, she's like, I'm gonna marry you. We're shared values. I thought he was going to arrest her. Does he arrest her when she says no? You deserve better. Does he arrest her now? <laughs> <laughs> Is it him between us? Is it the beast that dug that grave? Is it him? My resignation will be with you in the morning. Uh, that's not the way you should react, bud. That's not good. Let's not go there. That's not good. Yeah, but also Arthur, goddamn. Dead? Wow, you were really easy to find, bud. May I ask who gave you my whereabouts, Most. 
at least we've got to say goodbye, son. I'm a bit of fond of you to your dear brothers, would ya? How could you do this to us? Do what, son? All that stuff you said about the Shelby Casino and Atlantic City. Well, if the truth be told, I'm not so acquainted with that promised land as I had thee believe. Kill him! You're a fucking liar. So brutal. Now you give me back my fucking money! Do not despise the thief who steals to satisfy his starvation. That's in the holy Bible. Is that was a don't hate the player, hate the game? Damn it, Chips. I know. <laughs> Real good, though. I waited for you. Look at me, boy. Never put your hands on me again. I'll cut your fucking throat and spread you on these tracks. Arthur, do something! What's he gonna do? I don't know. He's too scared of his dad. You need to stand up to his fucker. He's gonna use the blade in his hat. No? Please, please do something. Arthur. Arthur! Damn it, dude. That sucks. That, he's so he's so broken. That sucks so much. Where's your father? Off with our money. I'm assuming he's frishing away the 500 you took oh, from us and put into his thieving, whore-graping hands. Oh, dang. Auntie knows what's up. How dare you do something like that without talking to Thomas or me? Who's told me now? No. <sighs> when he finds but out, you're though... You're gonna tell him. You're gonna tell him. Oh, that sucks. Those guns that we dug up will never be used to murder the innocent. But even though we have solved a crime, we have as yet failed to punish the criminal. Does he know that Grace is the one that knew about it? And tonight we will strike him down. We will drive our sword through his black heart. Is he gonna, and now is Campbell gonna go after Grace? So Grace saying no pissed him off. And now he's gonna go after the Peaky Blinders and and Tommy. Right! Who wants to fucking fight? We're closing up and moving on. Well, I said who wants to fucking fight? Oh god. Who dare fight me? Go on, lad, before you catch yourself a spanking. That's sad. I feel really bad for Arthur. He's going through it. Little brother is more successful and more commanding. I'm gonna have to lie low for a while. Why? I lost my bargaining power. The police are in the line, Tommy. Come here. Oh shit. Yeah. So Grace resigns and goes back to the bar. Well, yeah, that's where she wants to be. Isn't that dangerous for her though? You would think. <laughs> well, I mean, especially after like Campbell's like holding up her picture, like. Like, does, when he said, like, we're going to, like, get rid of all of his kind, does that mean Grace, too? Because now I think she's, she's on the list because right? she rejected his proposal, so. Dude, just because somebody says no, fucking asshole. I totally thought, I didn't think it was ever going to be a fucking marriage proposal. I thought he was going to arrest her. Like, oh, look at all the shit you did. Yeah. Now that you've, now that you're done. You don't work for me anymore. Yep. Handcuffs. Arrested. Hopefully Arthur doesn't show up right now. Oh God. With him being all drunk and emotional. Real nice bar top right there. Scratching it all up. I'm looking for Thomas Shelby. Never heard of him. Love this guy. <laughs> I love him so much. I'm worried that he's gonna have a- You'll never find him. Oh, oh baby honey. I'm worried he's gonna have an itchy trigger finger. Perhaps I should ask that question again. On your knees. What the fuck? Shit. I don't care if you live or die. Um. I don't know. You left with the bar, mate. Oh, no. I think we're going to her place. Call it off. Down all the stands there. We should find the bomb agency. Call it off! All right, so... He wants to do it himself? He wants to protect her? I, question mark? 
Does he think that like Thomas like stole her? It's not much of a place. It's all right. You want tea? Tea, no. I have rum. Actually, tea. <laughs> when will it die down, do you think? Late, I'd say. So not until the morning then. Uh oh. Yes, I'd say I'll be here till morning. <laughs> I'm worried that something is gonna happen. They're gonna start getting close and he's gonna show up. Christ, can I have this dance? They're being real sweet with each other though. I'm worried about her though. I mean, she's kind of been the core of most of the issues that he's been dealing with between the killed IRA agent giving up the guns. Is he looking through the app? Yeah. God damn. Shit. Are we gonna leave him alone? A scorned man. I don't think so. I think he's gonna do something. This is bad. This feels bad. Yeah, I'm worried. Jeez. This is like the most tense and nerve wracking sex scene ever. Right? I'm just waiting for something to happen. He, well, like, something. <laughs> not mean, that. Something's gotta happen. Not that. I'm waiting for a different type of explosion. Or explosion. <laughs> you sick. <laughs> That's really sweet though. I don't do the shovels against the wall. Aww. Will you help me? Help you with what? With everything. Oh. I found you. This is really sweet. And you found me. Actually, she was assigned to you, which is unfortunate. I feel like Campbell's going to rat her out to him. He's in love. You could see that coming. She feels guilty. Bury me, bury me. Arthur is going through it right now. Tommy's not even thinking about that shit yet. What is he gonna do? Don't do it. No, 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 no. No, Arthur. Oh my God, Arthur's really going through it. Arthur, don't. Arthur, don't. Arthur, don't. Holy shit. <gasps> oh, thank God. Oh God, I was like, why are they focusing on this for so long? Holy shit. Oh my God. Send a telegram to Mr. Churchill. I have news. The business I came to attend to is now complete. I'll be leaving the city. What? There's just one matter. I need to tidy up. Oh, oh shit. No. Okay, he made it home. So Polly told you. Yep. Yeah. Should he use a gun? Are you laughing at me, Tommy? Yeah. Because he loves you. Just when things are starting to go right, Arthur, you try and do this. Don't you like fancy parties? What, um, champagne, or fast cars? But how about this? Tommy is so happy right now. Your name on a business card? Shelby Brothers Limited. Arthur Shelby, associate bookmaker. I just had them picked up from the printers this morning. You were one of three shareholders. He loves you. And according to the law, we are equal partners. And it is written in the paperwork in black and white. Well, me and John, we quite fancy splitting your share, so just next time, he's a gunman. He loves you so much. He doesn't want you to go anywhere. Tell me that copper is leaving town. We're in the clear. We are on our way up in the world, brother. Aww. What's that one matter your friggin' camel needs to clean up though? Yeah, I'm worried about that. Oh shit. 
And this is only episode five from six. Oh God, what is six gonna be? If I was Grace, like, I think I would leave. Oh my God, oh my God, is that her picture on the front? Is that her picture on the front? Oh my God, shit. Like, did he put her in the, no, he didn't, right? No, he wouldn't do that. Why is everybody reading the newspaper? Just okay, they're sports. Just they I'm sports sorry, paper. I'm freaking out. I'm like, oh God, what are they gonna do with Grace? Like, like that. Okay. Yeah, I'm freaking I out. I mean, that's definitely not the type of penultimate episode we're used to. No. That was way too positive and way too many things went right. Maybe and this show doesn't do that. Maybe they just break our hearts and gut us in the finales. Maybe so. I mean, I, I feel like that's... Obviously, we've been through a lot in previous shows that we've watched and we always are setting up and anticipating for the I, I set up and prepare for the worst regardless oh yeah then you like prepare for the worst hope for the best like if you prepare for the worst then when good stuff happens it's a nice surprise it, it feels good yeah and i'm just campbell has proven to be and obviously maybe he's all talk because who knows but he's proven like to be a really ruthless sounding type of dude. The way he threatens, the way he says he's gonna carry out certain things. Oh, I mean, look what they did to Freddy. Yeah, and I mean, the way he talked about like, I have one last thing to clean up before he's- It's totally great. It has to be. And my immediate thought is that he's gonna kill her to try to crush Tommy. Yeah. Because he saw them I mean, he didn't see them, but he assumed... It looked like they were dancing in yeah, through the window. He was told that they left together at the bar. Yeah. So he went to her place, and the only assumption you could possibly come up with is the two of them were in the shadows. So it feels like one of those things where if I can't have her, neither can you type of thing. That's where my brain went with this I've been, dude. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of true crime. That I seems mean, to be the thing. It's definitely one of those situations where... The penultimate gave us a lot of pot like outside of like the Arthur storyline, which absolutely heartbreaking and soul crushing to see him go through that. Just to have his dad show up, embrace him, take advantage of his vulnerability, get this money from him, pitch this really awesome sounding idea about Shelby Casinos, and then just to get money from him and then bounce. Like that sucks. What an asshole. Also, and I mean, then, it's really nice to see Chips. Yeah. I mean, he's fantastic. He, he's him. good in everything that he's been in. Yeah. But it's just watching Arthur go through that and then trying to take care of himself that way. I honestly that was, didn't know what was happening. I was like, why are we focusing on this for so long? Yeah. And then and then thank like, God the rope when they're broke. showing the rope the and it broke. I'm like, okay, it's got a break, right? Like, right? Thank God. And just the way Tommy embraced him and joked with him in that well, moment. Yeah, bust his chops, yeah. but also I love you, you stupid. Yeah, yeah don't well, be, I don't like, want you to go anywhere, but also if you're gonna do it. I wouldn't was like, mind splitting it half yeah, instead of a exactly. third. <laughs> but the way he was like, just as things are going good, this is what you go and do. So it's just like... You made a mistake. I fucking get it. These Our guys, sucks. they've done a really good job of focusing on their return home from the war and them dealing with the mental aspect of that stuff. And Arthur, he's in a tough spot because he's the older brother. Everyone goes to him first thinking he's the leader of the Peaky Blinders and he's the leader of the Shelbys. When in reality, it's little brother. Yeah, and he it's has like, to tell them something. So it's a difficult spot for him. And clearly, dad coming home really triggered something for him and just put him in an even darker place when things didn't go according to like the way it was going to happen in his head. Yeah, he wants he, daddy's acceptance. Yeah. He's got daddy issues. And he's a junior. So that just makes it even more special. To, Firstborn. To be a certain type of man. Right. Yeah. So that whole storyline was really brutal. But watching the way everything else played out, the fact that, I mean, this IRA thing feels like it's going to be a big, big problem. Big problem. And it's he all. He just killed two guys. Right. Well, Grace killed two. He ended up killing the one in a super violent and intense way. But Grace killed the, the one dude that they're all like wanting revenge for now. And then, I mean, Tommy had another really good plan, it felt like. The police officers didn't show up when they were supposed to. And Grace came out shooting, like, holy shit, and killed that dude right away. And then Tommy got into the fight and had to friggin' bash his whole head in with the friggin' spit thing. And, I mean, that 
watching that fight play out and seeing the more flashbacks of what he encountered and dealt with at the war, it's just so intense and it's unimaginable. And just seeing Tommy actually smile and happy was bizarre. Oh my God. And and he doesn't hear the shovels anymore. Yeah. I mean, I, I feel like we saw two different sides of Tommy in this episode. When he got word that the two men were showing up to the pub, he was actually kind of panicky and in a hurry. You don't... Yeah. Like, you, you haven't see him, seen him like yeah, that. You don't see him upset like that. And then being just so happy and essentially falling in love with Grace. And having that, like, it almost feels like that weight off of his shoulders, that, like, blockade broken well, down. Yes, and, and, like, when you found your person, I want you to help me in life, yeah, in business, everything. in everything. And it's like, oh, man, I don't have to do this by myself anymore. I have a person. Yeah. I'm very worried about her, though. Same. I'm very concerned. Oh my god! I don't want anything. I want them to be in love and have a lovely relationship. Yeah. And I'm worried that she's gonna, she has a conscience. She's thinking about it. You could tell, like as she's looking at him while he's finally sleeping, like. And then Campbell's like, "I have something else to tidy up, bitch." I just the moment he pulled out that ring, I'm like, "Oh, this isn't gonna end well." Beautiful. Like ring, this though. isn't gonna go good because mm-hmm. there was no way she was gonna say yes. It's like, the moment we're not working together anymore, you're going to propose to me? Like, what? That and means the entire time that yeah. we weren't work, that we were working together, yeah. all you could think about... I'm going to marry her as soon was as this get, job's was done. Was getting yeah, this. Exactly. Girl, no. And the moment she said no, I'm like, oh, this is this is going to go down a dangerous path, it feels because like. He, he has an ego, and you damaged his ego yeah. god forbid somebody yeah. tells me no and another interesting thing i wonder if it's going to play out in the in the finale or if it's going to be earlier in season two where he put the black star on the date where they're going to go take out the lee or i thought no, that was like i thought it felt like it was like Billy the next Kimber. day yeah. no but like what? I, I wonder if it's going to play out in this finale or if it's something that'll play out in early season two or whatever but mm. There's a lot of stuff that, I mean, things felt positive. The business is going good right now. The guns are out of their hair and he doesn't have to worry about that anymore. And he feels like, all right, Campbell's leaving. We're good. I mean, I don't think he's going to leave and not cause any kind of problem. But this whole he thing. He should have never had those guns. I mean, that whole situation turned out to be pretty stressful for him. Even like he said it was a burden. I don't know if I believed him or not, but I feel like it was. But yeah, but I mean, without the guns, he wouldn't have grace. Right. Yeah. Certain things just played out. And them taking out Billy Kimber with the Lees, this IRA thing. What is Campbell going to do? I feel like we're going to have a pretty jam-packed finale, if not early start to season two. So Mm -hmm. really, really, really good shit. And I kind of like the idea of not having an insane penultimate episode and just let's just go balls to the wall in the finale. That's what I'm anticipating. Again, this show's new to us. We have a lot of expectations based off of other shows. We'll see what happens. And we'll get the hang of the way Peaky Blinders tells its stories. Yeah. So, I mean, six episode seasons, that's short. Love it. So, you got to jam a lot of stuff into the seasons. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of things potentially that, I mean, we'll see. But I feel like this IRA thing is going to be a long, big storyline that's going to go a while. Yeah. So, very good start. I can't wait to see what they do in this finale. And, yeah, I'm I'm really digging this show. It's so much fun. It's so good. It was nice to see Chips. Yeah, it was. One show to the next, back to back. Yep. So, anything else? All right, y'all. You guys share all your thoughts. Leave your comments. We'll see you later for the next one. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.